Here's the story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold, like their mother, the youngest one in curls. Here's the story of a man named Brady who was busy with three boys of his own. They were four men living all together, yet they were. What's up, Migo fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, got another cool Migo for you. Uh, on our quest to complete the first wave of new Migos um, from a few months ago that was re uh, released. So we're almost completed with our 2018 first wave of Migos. And we are excited. And these are, and surprisingly enough, these are uh, figures, some of these figures, I did not plan on adding to our museum collection. And now... Having these these beautiful figures in our museum collection, I really am seeing that, you know what, I would have made a terrible mistake um, by not adding these figures to our museum collection. Um, we are truly about the historical preservation uh, of these toy lines and these uh, these action figures. And the first, the first wave of the 2018 Migos are historic. It's the relaunch of Migo from nearly 40 years ago. And to have every figure from that first wave of Migos um, became very important to me. And we had a... Uh, a viewer um, that was curious to know if we had the Alice figure from Brady Bunch. And uh, we did. So I said, you know what? It was, we're, we're going to do the, the video in a few days. But we said, why not now? Let's, let's, let's give Alice her just due. Uh, Alice was played by a uh, famed actress and comedian, uh, Ann B. Davis, who we lost about maybe four, four years ago. Uh, she passed away in 2014 uh, at the age of uh, 88. But as a kid growing up watching the Brady Bunch, uh, Alice to me was the, uh, the, the America's... Uh, cook <laughs> she uh she stayed in the kitchen cooking uh some some great food and just with her comedic spiel and flavor it really added a, a nice balance to the show and i think migo got this state for one that the head sculpt is is beautiful I think Classic TV Toys uh, did a uh, a Alice uh, figure as well, but it's different when Mego puts out a Brady Bunch, and they're just like I said, they're getting all of these different properties um, licensed, and the Brady Bunch, Charlie's Angels, Facts of Life, you name it. 
and they're they're really Migos broadening their horizons. And these figures are are made are very durable, made very well. But then again, we expect nothing less uh, from Migo. It's uh, 14 points of articulation. Alice comes with her trademark white shoes, her apron, the blue dress. I never considered Alice the maid. She was always an extension, a part of the family, you know. And this figure is limited. Collect for collectability. We have number 8,675 out, out of 10,000. Guys, if you're just joining us, welcome to the MIB master toy museum i'm um, just hanging out in our our museum um today and we wanted to do this uh brady bunch alice figure review um wave two is upon us all almost upon us um they are being released in certain parts of the country now um i'm, I'm a part of the uh Migo ambassadors on Facebook. So we're seeing a lot of uh, the Wave 2 figures out already. So I'm getting excited. Uh, all of the collectors, Migo collectors, are getting excited. Uh, it's like Christmas all over again. Over and over and over again. And this is just Wave 2. I mean, we, we already got guys talking about Wave 3. What's in Wave 3? Here's the back of the card. Like I said, when this was first uh, uh, talked about being released, uh, the figures that would be in Wave 1 for Migos release uh, back in July, early August, uh, I heard a lot of collectors say, you know, we're, well, we know a few that we won't be getting, and that's fine, you know, because I, I, was, I was one of those collectors too. Uh, because you're... you're you're trying to see it in your collection, but I'm a museum. So owning a museum, a massive coll uh, collection, I find a charm in a lot of these um, figures that I would have not necessarily purchased 10 or 15 years ago. But now I'm finding out now what through the, the, the history of Mego and trying to preserve that history. Um, it's becoming so much fun in collecting these, all of these uh, Migos. So it's our, our, you know, I've made it my personal uh, duty and mission to collect the first, the entire first wave, the entire second wave and the entire third wave and beyond. So we're, we're excited about that. Guys, what do you think of our Brady Bunch Alice Migo figure? Um, are you looking for this figure? How do you feel about this figure? Is this a figure that they could have just kept? Or they, they could have replaced with a different figure? Um, was it necessary to create this figure? You see, she comes with her uh, plate of a uh, little saucer of cake. We want to know all of those things. Leave your uh, comments in the, the comment section. We would love to get back with you guys and discuss it. Guys, I'm just a collector. So, it's an illness. <laughs> I was in Target a few uh, a few weeks ago and, and I saw this figure and I said, you know what, I, ha I have to add this to my collection. We have to have this in our museum. 
I don't want to look back 50 years from now and hear people talking about how cool of a figure that the Alice Brady Bunch figure was. Say, man, I had that figure. I, I could have gotten that figure and I chose not to. It was right there for me to grab it and I couldn't and I didn't get it. And as collectors, guys, I think we all have felt like that before. And they did something different with her hair. Uh, it's a flocking system. And we have, haven't have seen this type of flocking since the you know our, our uh, G.I. Joes um, started the flocking system of hair. So she's got like lifelike hair. You know, and I think that's a nice touch to this uh, to this head sculpt and to this figure. And they didn't have to do this. They they could have given her just painted hair, but they gave her real hair. It's uh, flocked hair. So I thought that was a really nice, charming touch um, to Alice's uh, head sculpt. Um, beautifully done. Guys, I'd like to thank you for hanging out with us today in our museum. You know the routine, guys. God bless. And keep collecting.